everyone. Welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here. And in today's Flint Scrawl Saw Project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is a tropical themed design. You guys know I love that. I love the beach, being anywhere near water. It relaxes me. And we are finally in the heat of the summer. So really, really cool. It took us a little while to get there. May in my area of Brunton, North Carolina was really cooler than normal. You know, there was actually some days where it was only like in the 50s, but then when June hit, everything kind of just flowed together and we got that nice warm weather that I love. I've already got all the pattern printed out and prepped and attached to our material with clear packing tape and the design is going to be a nice tropical pelican in front of a lighthouse and sailboat. This is a layered project and everything is one quarter inch material and since I'm running short on my quarter inch material I pick up at Lowe's. We're only going to make one in this video but of course it can lend itself to stack cutting. The layer here has the nice pelican with his lunch, his catch of the day and the wing is going to be cut out separately so just keep that in mind and then glued onto the pelican to give it a 3D effect and these darker lines that you see here like down in the dock and the pylon that the bird is standing on has darker lines and that's just scroll saw veining where you run the blade in and then back it back out to create a beautiful line of detail. The next layer here has the mentioned sailboat and lighthouse and some nice clouds. The very top layer is just a ring so basically like a frame that'll go on the front layer with the bird and then the back layer here and we're going to cut this out first and go on and paint it so it can be drying to save time while filming. It has the sun, some birds in it so really really cool and since this is a layered project and a multi-piece project I do have a picture of how it's put together saved onto my cell phone so really really cool. Since everything is prepared let's head over to the workbench take the drill and drill all the pilot holes required so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the workbench I'm going to take my drill and several small drill bits to drill all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. I like to show this method from time to time to just show that a drill press or a scroller's drill is not an essential tool for scroll sawing and a drill and drill bits will work just as good. We are going to begin by doing all of the cuts on the backer board here and I quickly cut everything out here. It took me around five minutes to scroll everything out because I wanted to get it sanded and painted so it could be drying while we were doing the rest of the scrolling. I sanded it off camera and then I gave it a nice tropical blue paint. And then I came over to the scroll saw and continued on scrolling. I am using number five ultra reverse tooth blades for all the cutting on this project and they will cut through all of the quarter inch material exceptionally well with minimal chip out and a brand new fresh blade will just fly through one quarter inch material so you have to be extremely careful when the blade is new and sharp and as always I just take my time and let the blade do the work. I will do all of the internal cuts before proceeding to the final outside cuts which will release the pieces from the waste wood. And this project has some veining in it. Not much of it but it does have a few areas with veining and you will see me take care of that after I do this internal cut here. And veining for the scroll saw is simply just where you take the blade into a line of detail and back it out to give it a nice visual cutting out the bird's wing here which is a separate piece entirely. If you guys would like to try this pattern it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. And if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the artisan pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. And I will let you guys know that when you get the bird cut out here, he is extremely fragile by how thin his leg is there, so we will be careful with him throughout the rest of the process through sanding and everything. But doing the final internal cut here, and then we will retension the blade and do all of the outside cuts, which will release all of the pieces. Not a very complicated pattern, but it's still a very beautiful pattern and the multiple layers just give it a nice 3D visual. 
and doing the final bit of scroll work here. Once again, I'm being careful with this bird piece. I don't want to snap where his leg is. But now over here at the workbench, we can remove all the pieces from the waste wood. And we can start to get a visual of how the whole project is going to look. And then we will take everything over to the palm sander with 180 grit cling spore sandpaper in it and sand everything front and back. Again, I was very careful with the bird piece here, keeping him as stable as I possibly could. And after sanding, it was time to stain with Minwax wood stain. And I made sure everything was saturated with stain before wiping off the excess with a scrap piece of t-shirt material. And I hung everything on wires to dry. And after it dried a couple hours, it was time to begin the assembly and as you see there with a the multi-part piece I have a photo of Steve's project saved on the phone but I will assemble everything with CA glue and activator and this is medium grade CA glue and the spring clamps just hold everything and then I give that around five minutes to dry and then came back and now we will flush sand everything over here on the belt sander to make everything nice and uniform and then we will go back to the Minwax wood stain for the last time and stain the edge here and the back and this just makes it look like one uniform piece of wood and once that dried it was time for finishing with several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss and when that dried the project was complete And here we have the completed Pelican at sea, cut out completely on the scroll saw, and he finished up amazingly well. Thank you, Steve Good, for another amazing design from your pattern catalog. Really, really cool. I really like how everything came out here. And again, it's just four layers of one quarter inch material to make a beautiful scene here, and it has some nice depth and dimension and 3D-like appearance to it, especially the way everything is layered. Not a lot of detail in this project. It is one of those projects, however, that you need to be as loyal as you can to the cut line to make sure everything Everything just lines up and makes the frame here and everything and again as always I took my time and let the blade do the work and I was as loyal as I could be to my cut line and the way I finished it was very simplistic as well we just went with the blue background a nice tropical blue color and then we stained the rest of the material and I think everything came out great especially the grain really popped with the stain and then the rust-oleum clear gloss at the end I do think grain direction plays a key role in this project to make everything look and appear to be one uniform form piece you know if that makes any sense like it was meticulously carved out or anything but it was once again made 100% on a scroll saw and there are several ways to finish a project like this you could paint the crane the fish the lighthouse the sailboat and everything and the pilings and the dock down here and the minimal veining in it really gives it a standout feature you know to really give it just added characteristics again only 30 minutes of scrolling and we have an amazing piece here it took longer for everything to actually dry than it did to scroll everything out and assemble it but that's just how it is in the nature of some of these scroll saw projects but again it came out beautiful and I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make it if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at artisan pirate links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate and summertime is definitely calling me Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.